As many of us know, Brazil are an up-and-coming rugby nation, with them competing in the Sevens as well as the Pacific Nations Cup. But what is Brazil's club rugby like? Well, today we're going to be discussing it in this video. Welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel. Please make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button, as well as please go ahead and follow us on our social media platforms to be up to date with the channel. Even if you're a massive rugby fan, you're very unlikely to actually know about the Brazilian League when it comes to club rugby. The Brazilian League is known as the Campeonato Brasileiro de Rugby, also known as the Super Six. It is the main tournament for rugby union clubs in Brazil since 1964. The tournament is organised by the Brazilian Rugby Confederation. For the 2019 season, there will be 13 teams. These teams consisting in two groups, Group A and B. These teams being Jacare, Poli, Pasture, San Jose, Tornadoes, Ban Saracens, SPAC, also known as Sao, Sao Paulo Athletic Club, Curitiba, Farapó, Pervemulo, Destero, Serra Gocha, and Charua. There are two mainly successful teams out of this league, SPAC, which is Sao Paulo Athletic Club, who have won titles over 30, well, won 13 titles in 1964, 1965, 1966, 67, 68, 69, 74, 1975, 76, 77, 78, 1999, and their most recent one being 2013. Behind them is Sao Jose, who have won nine titles, 2002, 3, 4, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2015. In 2006, the competition consisted of eight clubs in two groups of four teams. The clubs from one group played once against the four clubs in the other group, with the two best placed teams in each group qualifying in the semi-finals. The semi-finals and the final were one-legged matches. Since 2009, the competition consisted of one division, with each team playing each other's once. Last year's winners were Poli Rugby Club, which is a rugby club in Sao Paulo, the city in Brazil. It was founded in 1971. I for one would love to see the Brazilian League make a professional one day, or even enter the system of the MLR, along with a Uruguayan club. It would make the players play a lot more professional, and it would also found an amazing rugby career for a lot of players, as well as inspire a younger generation. Would you want to see a professional club from Brazil enter the MLR, or even make their own professional league out of the Brazilian system? Let me know in the comments section, and without further ado, that will be the end of the video for today. Okay guys, without further ado, that's going to be the end of the video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and comment, let me know what you thought of today's video. Please let me know, would you like to see a Brazilian club enter the MLR, or would you like to see Brazilian rugby make it professional and have their own league? Let me know in the comments section. Also, would you want to see this in the new up-and-coming Rugby 20 or Rugby Challenge series? Let me know. And uh, yeah, please also as well, subscribe if you haven't already. We upload rugby videos every single week, guaranteed as well as covering a lot more topics like this, so stay tuned for more content on this sort of stuff. And yeah guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, I've been Andrew, I will see you in another upload. Peace out guys.